Hello. Today I want to unbox my Happy Daya subscription kit. So I started the subscription kit, I think, since June, I believe. And this has been my third kit. And this month, or I think they she, did, she does one every two months. So this particular two month is a carnival theme. And I subscribe to both the sticker kit and the Hobonichi Weeks kit of hers. And I think she has some for other sizes as well. And I always love her packaging. It is so thoughtful and really careful to preserve the stickers themselves. And because if you order like dual kits, you get some other special goodies. So I'm very excited to see what they are. One thing I noticed at first is this really cool kind of like foiled um, cardboard or paper card. So Heavy Daya has been like giving us quite a variety of cool like texture, uh, not texture but foiled color. So there's been rose gold, there's been like silver, and this one I think is kind of holographic, which is pretty pretty awesome. And I, I remember now, this is like a nice little card. I think I might keep this um, in my Hobonichi because it looks like it's A5 size. And look at the details. I love Hakidaya because of like the panda and the teddy bear and the little animals. And this particular carnival theme is really making me happy. So I think with the sticker kit, you get um, these washies. And if you order two kits, you get like these extra washi tapes, so let's take a look. Nice. Ooh, so pretty. So first you have like a corn dog on purple series with some cupcakes and popcorns. Then these are kind of thinner washies with just little her signature characters and like this very cheerful red and orange sorry orangey red and yellow background i like that very much and then she's been doing this for a while but she's been coming out with thin washi tapes so similar to kind of the width of like you know the famous simply gilded i assume but with her own twist on the patterns so these are from the um sticker kit and this one is when you subscribe to double um, multiple kits you know what? I might be wrong. It may be the other way around that the that the uh, sticker kit comes with this, but I'll double check. Ooh, so cute. So first you have this blue that's got cotton candy on it. This is so cheerful and oddly kind of Halloween-y. I don't know why. Maybe it's the carnival theme. And so this one is her signature kind of like this pink color and then a blue with gummy teddy bears on it. I love this thin one a lot. All right, let's break into this, the stickers themselves. So I first started out with her sticker kit because you know I use these as little stickers all over my journals as in my verticals and stuff, but I branched out and went into the weeks after a bit. But these ones, she always has such great variety. So here's snacks with churros. Food, very hot doggy, very carnival-y. I don't know how like lifestyle fitting this theme is, but she does try to adapt the theme to like these usable stickers. So work here. I love her happy fairy. So this is kind of her series where she has her characters say like encouraging and motivational words. So kind of like with her na name, Happy Daya. Oh, I love it. This one says, I'm ready. And she, this hand is kind of dressed in like the typical like children's hat and like the thing. Like, I'm ready. I like that. House chore. Oh, I use her house chores a lot for like, you know, changing the bed sheet, checking expired kitchen good. That's very useful. And cooking. I like that. Travel. Not so relevant right now, but still, cu still cute. Still very cute. Packing is a very useful one. I think she should do packing more. Summer, yes. It's still summer in Seattle, so this one would still totally fit um, the bill right now. Shops. 
I like her shots because she knows that people like us who use the stationery go shopping all the time. So useful. And I also like her like general like note stickers where it's got these boxes that you can write on. And also note that the texture is very matte. So you can really write on this with any kinds of pen, like gel pens especially. And that's probably what I would use. And just a variety of different shapes. Oh, I like these big um, boxes as well. They actually fit really nicely into the Hobonichi Weeks. And this is, I think, an exclusive for subscribers. And these are kind of like to-do list sort of um, tickers. I like that a lot. And here we have the sticker, sticker kit. Let's take a look at the Weeks kit. Hobonichi Weeks kit. Ooh, there seems to be a lot. So again, the same holographic theme. So this one has more of a, a, a silky texture to it. So I like to only use like alcohol-based pens on these, not necessarily gel pen. That's really pretty. So this is her weeks. And I love these like little design or like illustrations that she does. And this is mainly why I got it because <laughs> I wanted the box, but I don't want to commit to, to the bigger kits because honestly, these like little longer ones I don't have much use for. But I'll probably use it to embellish the sides of um, my Hobonichi Weeks. Oh my gosh, the holographic is really blinding me right now. Coming back to the mats. Oh wow, these are so cute. They're so festive. Little house chore ones too. So these are perfect for like the undersides of a week's page. I use that sometimes. And these are like for the sides, the left side of the page. I like using these for like little checklist. And so see, this is probably to me the most useless <laughs> kind of sticker of their, her whole set. Cause I, like I said, I don't really like decorate the entire spread as in cover up parts with these little strips. I use them occasionally, I guess as dividers. And then finally, the numbers and more of these like underside big boxes. So pretty. You can really see the rainbow in that. That's really neat. And finally, this is again like some goodies she includes. So the great thing about kits is that she always includes these special freebies if you order multiple and oh my gosh, Happy Fairy in Holographic. This is awesome. Let me. So you've got like, let's do this. Let's have fun. Tomorrow will be better. And the shade. This is so beautiful. Oh, I wish I have like multiples of this. <laughs> and then more boxes. I really like the boxes, to be honest. They're great for like little to do's. And then another uh, kind of like a general one with like more illustrations. I like this one. This one looks like a planner, a packed planner. This is perfect because I, I normally jot down like um, journaling time. So this would be great. And you have like a little cotton candy hypey mail here. Kid paid. <laughs> so, wow, I love these so much. So let's look at um, organization. So usually I... Um, store these in these kind of like four by six photo album sort of photo book. I knew I was going to run out so I bought a new one <laughs> in anticipation and this is great. So I use these to store the smaller ones and as for the big ones I have another book which I'll get to but I do like to organize though based on like themes so that it's, all, it's easy to get to. So like these boxes I usually keep together. This one I can have it separately. And these are, um, where's the other happy, the happy fairy? There we go, here's the happy fairy. Okay, so, so yeah, and then you just like slide them into these photo albums and it's so easy to reference and look for the ones you want. I really like the summer one. In fact, I think I might store the summer one in a special one that I use. So I also like to use the Hobonichi's um, photograph album because the size fits um, the Happy Daya sticker sheets 
perfectly. And sometimes when I have extra space, do I have extra space? I'm going to take out this one. And I would store them in here because I do put this in my book so it's easier to access. And this I'll probably use it today. And it's kind of like a reference book. You can easily flip through and find the kinds you need. And some people might also like to categorize it with like the older kits. But I like to keep them like um, kid for kid. So, and then these are all um, note types. So I'm just gonna kind of have it in like this spread out style. And store it all in here together. Happy fairy, love the happy fairy. So now you can see two at the same time, and then shops. So here is where the smaller ones goes. The bigger one, I store them in my um, Myco sticker organizer because it's the perfect height. So here you can see my previous kits. They're great in here. Here's an empty spot. I could do this. And as you can see, I am sort of running out of space here, slowly. So I just gotta be more diligent about using these up, I guess. Um, they are so pretty. The holographic theme is really amazing. So there goes another great set from Happy Daya for her carnival theme sticker and washi set. And I can't wait till I receive the next one. She hinted on her Instagram that's gonna be a cozy bunny theme. So let's look forward to that one.